Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, in our second game of our doubleheader, we've got the 7th ranked Jacksonville Dolphins, 3-1 on the season, hosting the 1-3 Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions in SEC action. This is a 50-point spread, according to our stat guy, Jay Washington, who is in the chat right now with his clutch stats. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't like Pine Bluff's chances here in this game. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens, but it, it's not looking good for them already, I can tell you that much. So before the game starts, go ahead and slap that like button, slap it real hard, subscribe if you're new, join our Discord community, get yourself on the field in week 8, we're in week 7 right now, so right after this, we'll be adding some new players. So, hope to see you guys in there. Regear Productions in the chat, Marvin Joseph in the chat as well. Let me get this all shared in the Discord so everybody can see it, and we'll get it popping. Let's do it. All right, share. I'm ready. Maybe. Possibly. All right, let's do it. Do, 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 do. Number one total offense in the country. Going up against the 117th ranked defense of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Yep. That's, wow. That is rough, guys. They're in the hundreds for a lot of things. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is this team? So bad. Let's do it. I'm ready. What unis you want to wear, Marvin? I see you in the chat. What's up? Pine Bluff hits hard. Yeah, I do remember that. And they beat Tennessee State. And ending their, what was it, 16-game losing streak or something? It was something insane. Somebody go back and see what their losing streak was. Because it was rough. You tell me green and gold. I like it. Let's do it. And we're off. My sweet revenge in the chat again. How you doing, Audrey? Players to look out for. Michael Hines is on the Heisman watch list right now. T-Roy Gaines, seven total touchdowns with a freshman halfback. And Zane Williams, 18 tackles on the season. Pedersen... Is suspended still, so is Mr. Highlight. And Dudley is injured on the offensive front. Oh, baby. Let's go. You know we're going to receive that ball. You're eating? What are you eating? I'm hungry. I mean, everybody knows what I'm going to eat. I'm going to have some chicken after this, and it's going to be oh so good. You know it. All right, who we got on the turns? Let's do it. T-Roy Gaines. We take these out. Let's go. Let's go, T-Roy. To the 26. You'll love to see it. And the offense for the Jacksonville Dolphins, led by junior quarterback Michael Hines. He is backed up by Nolan Connor. Backfield is Jukes McGee, Nelson McRae, and T-Roy Gaines. Tyler Matthews at fullback. Receiving core highlight is suspended for this game. Jermaine Marshall, Deshaun Harris, and Jeremy Mosley. We'll have to fill in for him. And Christian Hart at tight end. Wide open. Oh, my goodness. Deshaun. My guy. What in tarnation. That could have been such a great start. Topsy would love to see these cheeks clapped. Yes, sir. Bill Stevens back in the chat. Uh-oh. Oh, he almost caught that, too. All right, second down and 20. Not an ideal situation. But we got this. Keeps McGee gets the carry, and he goes nowhere. Oh, my sweet baby Jeebus. Somebody please make it stop. Ron Kemp back in the chat. What's going on, Ron? He's blocking. Marshall's open. Can we get it to him? Oh, my goodness. Why would he run downfield instead of coming back for that? 
All right, so Ju punting the football away. All right, let's take a look at the Jacksonville defense to start. Uh, the defensive front, Parker Palmer, Zach Allen, Frank Frazier, and Ryan Richardson. Those are all defensive ends. They play all over the front of that line. And here is Zane Williams, Devin Rambo, and Marcus Barnes at linebacker. Allen Davidson, Marvin Joseph Jr. at corner. Malik Bean and Marcus Pedersen is actually suspended. There's Barnes on the stop. But Pedersen is suspended for this game. So we're going to be seeing who is it. Who is it? Montgomery, something like that, you know. Get him. Okay. Find bluff a different team since your team killed him. Yeah, uh, they came out with a different attitude, apparently. You'd love to see it, man. Third down and eight for the Golden Lions. Get him, Parker. Malik Bean can't get the interception. All right, let's take it to the question of the game. Jacksonville has the highest scoring offense in the dynasty. What was the lowest amount of points scored by them? Leave that up for another extra second here. Hit that like button. Uh, yeah, you tell him, Bill. Tell him how it is, man. Nelson McRae, a.k.a. Craniac and Gaming, on for the return. And he's going to spin out half the secondary. Right, I like it. I mean, that's pretty much all secondary players right there. All right, let's uh, not punt it away again. Ever. Ever again. I think the lowest they scored is 52. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and he runs a man over. I should have just kept the ball in Hines hands. My goodness gracious. Our last stream uh, hit 22 viewers at one point, which is very nice. Throw it deep. Jermaine Marshall, he's got everybody beat. And it's a touchdown for J.U. Oh. My man's was wide open. He had a 20-yard step on that guy. Wow. You'd love to see it, guys. Two plays, 72-yard drive for the Dolphins. No Mr. Highlight, no problem. Yes, sir. You got so many weapons. M double J on kickoff. And he got blocked, but it's all good. Did y'all hear the stadium sound? Was it loud enough? Anybody? Feel it? Nice, let's go. And that was Devin Rambo on the stop. Sophomore linebacker. Get him. I thought that was play action. Parker Palmer with a big hit on the running back. Third down at 14 for the Golden Lions of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Get him. Pressured. Malik Bean. Oh, misplayed it. Feels bad. It's all good. It's all good. Let's block this. Let's go. That was a very good punt. Oh my goodness gracious. And McCray dropped at the 37. Right. 
Jacksonville and computer games aren't friendly? Uh, no, not so much. They do have a win. I can't remember who they beat, though. Oh, Savannah State. All right, just keep that, I guess. Five-yard carry for Hines, who's averaging 100 yards per game on the ground. And McRae puts it on the turf. Woo! King recovers for Jacksonville. He'll be running some steps after that one. All right, cool. What was that throw? My man's is wide open, and you just throw it in the dirt. I guess we're punting it away yet again. Oh, and Hayes on for the punt. Sophomore. And that could be a really good one. Let's go. Yeah, you would. You would. Get out of here. Harris Gurley in the chat. Heisman front runner for the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. What's going on, Harris? Let's play some defense now. Let's go. I'm not worried about the offense. Oh, how did I miss that? I'm not worried about the offense. I know we're going to get points on the board. So, I mean, if we got to punt it, we'll punt it. No big deal. This team does not scare me one bit. Get him. I hit the quarterback. Now Davidson on the tackle. And that'll bring up third down and three. He took a 10 hour nap. I believe that's called bedtime, Harris. Get him. Let's go. Alan Davidson on the stop. My number one rated cornerback for the EFL prospect pool. He's not the fastest corner, but he is a great zone coverage cornerback. This punter is amazing for Pine Bluff. My goodness. The past five hours is just bedtime. Yeah, pretty much, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, what do you mean? It's it's not a nap anymore. You slept for half the day, my guy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, Matthews, you apparently can't stiff arm anyone. Fantastic. Uh, we tried this play, first play of the game, and there was holding, so let's try it again. If it's holding again, we're throwing it out for the rest of the game. Throw it up, Christian Hart, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Oh, nice deflection. Okay, then. That play, out the playbook for the game. Feels bad. Gains in at half back and gets no blocking. We're in their territory, so let's do this. Probably just gonna take off with Hines. All right, bet. First down, Dolphins. You only get about five or six hours sleep a day. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm about the same, really. If that. Yeah, 
And man, wide open overthrown. Should have been a touchdown. That's the end of the first quarter. Jacksonville on top, 7 and nothing over the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. You can stay up for 24 hours? I mean, most human beings can. Gaines picks up a few yards. I once stayed up for seven straight days when I was a teenager. Not on purpose. Couldn't sleep. Goodbye. Touchdown, J. U. That was too easy. He's so fast. Craniac Gaming back in the chat. What's going on, brother? If you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, go ahead and do so. Plenty of content on there. Was I'm sure best back then? Uh, no. I just, I've always had trouble sleeping, and, you know, things happen. Come on, Barnes, get him. Or not, that's cool. Alan Davidson, another stop for him. Got your Craniacs and carries? Yes, sir. Oh my goodness, he just ran through three players. Wow. Second down and six for the Golden Lions. Get him. There we go, good stop. That was Allen, Zach Allen on the stop. Sophomore defensive end. yard reception for Bullocks. All right. Yeah, when I stayed up for seven straight days, that wasn't on purpose. Like, I laid down, tried to sleep, just stared at the ceiling, just couldn't do it. Could not fall asleep. I don't know what it was. I tried everything. Get him. Okay. Cool. Fine bluff. Get a nice little drive going here in the second quarter. Let's put up the question of the game again here well, real quick. Jacksonville is the highest scoring offense in the dynasty. What was the lowest amount of points by them? Once you're out, you're out for a while. Yeah, I think I slept for two straight days. Parker Palmer getting manhandled out here at, at defensive end. I just can't get anything with him. You guys think it's 18? Okay, then. Okay. Get him. Just stop. Third down. Barnes on the tackle, freshman middle linebacker. Been there, done that, Bill. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't feel good at all, man. No. Oh boy.
Eight play, 59 yard drive for the Golden Lions. The question is for all three seasons. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Nice tackle. Marcus Barnes, another one for him. Say you, T Roy. What up, T Roy? How you doing, buddy? We just cannot stop these guys right now. Get him. He's gone. Touchdown, Golden Lions. What is happening right now? That was a great drive. Goes the shutout. <laughs> I mean, it's only the second quarter. It's not like we had a shutout going into like you know the last minute of the fourth or something. Come on, bro. <laughs> T. Roy Gaines on for the return. And gets it up to the 24-yard line. The stress of a shutout is off my back. Yes, sir. You're doing well, T-Roy? Glad to hear it, man. Oh, that spin move. Nice carry for McCray. You're off from work tomorrow, so you get to stay up? Nice. That's always fun. T-Roy! <laughs> All right, let's do this. That was an awkward start to the play. It gave me some weird kind of shifty motion right there. I didn't like that. All right, Hines in the zone at quarterback. Let's go triple option from shotgun. Okay, then. Okay, then, Michael. Okay, Michael Hines to the 36. Let's go. Get juked, son. Oh, man, I think the ref kind of got in his way. Hines, one of seven right now, 58 yards on a touchdown. <laughs> what is that? Kind of a weird start for him throwing the football, but we'll, we'll fix it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Touchdown. Let's go. Let's just not go after the quarterback who is faster than everyone on your defense. Touchdown! J U If he's having a bad day throwing it, all he's got to do is just take off. That's it. Design run. A pass play, he can just take off anyway. I mean, it doesn't matter. Don't matter. Warriors and four. What's up? Yeah. Fozzie Sands on for the kickoff. Get him. Oh, Marcus Barnes got lit up. Gator's fight song is painful. It's okay, man. Don't cry yourself to sleep tonight, all right? Good tackle, Alan Davidson. Give him the Heinzman Award already. Oh, my goodness. Let's coach up that D-line because that's, that's rough. Wow, 
Are you still leading the Heisman? That's a good question after your performance against Tennessee State. I'm just saying. But there's always time for redemption. All right, third down three. Let's get it. Crowd going crazy. Get him. And that is incomplete. So we do get a nice little stop, Rattler. Nelson McRae back to return it from the 21-yard line. Spins out the entire team. Awesome. All right. Ref is in position to make that catch. Yes, sir. Let's do this. What a catch! <laughs> wow! Christian Hart with a nice pirouette for the catch. Look at this. Whee! That was nice. I can't even front. That was nice. You feel abandoned? Where's Tom Schaefer when you need him? I don't know, man. Christian Hart. Oh, no, he was wide open. Come on. Can I just get a split second, please? Come on, bro. All right, let's see what we got here. When you yeet, you win. Yes, sir. You can't go wrong with a nice yeet, you know? I mean, we could go right with some blocking. That'd be really, really tight right now. It would. Hines is in the zone. You know what we do. What's up? Two for five on third downs for the Dolphins. Okay, then. First down, Michael Hines. Let's go. No, there's a flag for Holden. Come on, bro. Hollinsworth. That's going to make a third down on 19. Marvin Joseph just wants to throw down with the ref on the sideline. Time is running out. Time is running out. 391. Not worried though. Not worried. We got one-on-one -on -one coverage here. Nope. Nope. No, we don't. All right. Cool. Coach up this O-line, please. That'd be sick. Who needs to throw the ball, right? Just just run. Just run it every time. Oh, how did he miss that? <laughs> what? Oh, boy. So, Quasi Sands field goal. 40-yard attempt. I don't know how that pass was not caught, but okay. Senior kicker's kick is right down Main Street. It's 24 to 7 as we are entering halftime, folks. Jacksonville on top of the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. Our next game, which is going to be tomorrow at some point. I don't know if it'll be during the day or at night after work. But Eastern Washington is traveling to take on the 15th-ranked Northern Colorado Bears in Greeley, Colorado. It's a Pac-10 play. All 
All right. Fine bluff hanging in there. OJ Mayo out here playing some halfback to Pine Bluff. He'd love to see it. Oh my goodness. What was that angle, Bean? You're too slow to take a bad angle. Touchdown, Golden Lions. Oh my goodness. Bean, that was just one of the worst angles I've ever seen in my life. Golden Lions hanging around in this game. Even though there was what, like a 50 point spread or something? I can't even remember what it was. I know it's a big number. Defense is so soft. Yeah, they're getting roughed up a little bit out there. It doesn't help that Marcus Pedersen the star All-American Strong Safety is suspended, and that's usually who I'm usering. I would have made that tackle right there. No cap. OJ Mayo played high school ball right next to your dad's Taekwondo school. Nice. Oh my goodness, I thought he was gone for a second. <laughs> oh man, that was insane. Just straight line speed. He almost outran him at everybody right there. Oh my goodness. Get him out of here, coach. Get him out of here. Jermaine Marshall's got to beat again. Touchdown, J.U. My goodness. It's wide open. Does the stadium sound all right, guys? Is it too loud? Too quiet? <laughs> Let me know. That's the second time we scored a touchdown on that play-action play. They can't stop it. I just got destroyed. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we got too many FSU fans in the chat right now. It's too much. Get him! Can we please tackle this guy? Thank you, Malik. Defense just ain't clicking today? No, I don't know what's going on. We're just <laughs> soft like Charmin out here. What's going on? Get him. Thank you. Good tackle. Dude's got 100 yards in this game. Michael Hines, eight carries, 172 yards, two touchdowns. Get out of here. He's so fast. It's insane. I know you're an FSU fan, Craniac. I know. Go Miami. What's up? That's right. Come on, get him. Oh, boy. Allen Davidson. No, he's too slow. But he did save the touchdown. Oh my goodness. 
Got to use the D-line shift a little more. Got you, Martin. I don't know if it's going to help any, but we'll try it out. Or we'll just go off sides. Sick. Let's go. Oh, come on, Barnes. That should have been a pick, buddy. Three completions for Hines. Two touchdowns. That's, those are good stats. I don't care about the percentage. Second down and five for the Golden Lions. Crowd going crazy. Oh, you got it that time. Let's go. Up the sideline. Marcus Barnes. No way. Can he go? Oh, man, what a huge interception for the freshman middle linebacker. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is his first of the season and his career. I just can't remember. He needed one block, and he was gone. Oh, man. Love the crowd noise. I know, the crowd noises back in the PS2 days were amazing. Late pitch to Gaines, okay. And there's a flag for clipping anyway, fantastic. Christian Hart with the clipping. That's a feels bad moment right there. All right. Keep it simple. That's a face mask. 15 yards. We'll take a first down. Let's go. Lumpkin. He deserves a 15 yarder just for that name. Yeah, get upset. Get upset. Let's go. It's the first one we got to go our way. Don't you just, just pipe down a little bit there, coach? All right, first down at 10 for JU. Christian Hart in the zone at tight end. And we got to watch out for their free safety, who is also in the zone. What was that? What was the animation right there? Are you serious? What is that? What? Can someone in the chat please tell me what just happened? He just stopped moving. Oh my god. Get out of here. Wow. This game has no love for Jacksonville. Like, what is that animation? Like, <laughs> I would never get that with any other team. Come on. <laughs> Come on. My man just stops moving completely. And jumps up like he's testing his vertical in the combine or something. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, good tackle. That was odd. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit, my guy. Kind of happy you want to see him prosper a little, but nah, <laughs> you want the duck. <laughs> now they got double coverage on Marshall, so there goes that play. Hey, Heinz, I see you for the first down. Let's go. Let's go. Strong safety in the zone, I hope so. He just had a pick six for like 150 yards. Jukes McGee on the carry for a pickup of five. No more picks. <laughs> it was the first one, man. It shouldn't have been. 
with that whack animation. I don't know what that was. T-Roy Gaines! Inside the 20, just carrying the whole defense down to the 15. Let's go! Question of the game one more time for you guys. Jacksonville's the highest scoring offense in the dynasty. What was the lowest amount of points scored by them in this entire series, not just this season? That's pretty much what happened, Rocky. It's terrible. Okay, that's a touchdown. Easy money. Nelson McRae, touchdown, J.U. All right, let's go. We hit him with that triple option real quick. They didn't know what to do with it. Get him. Uh oh. No way. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This man just high stepped on us. Right up the gut. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? Slim Chris in the chat. What's going on, Chris? Yo, this game is nuts, guys. I can't even lie. Oh my goodness. This man just ran straight through the defense, just gone. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, back on offense, I guess. You know we return those. Let's go. Let's go, T-Roy. Get that block. Let's go, T-Roy. Oh, one more block. Come on. Just one more, man. All right, everybody's exhausted since we were just on the field. All right, let's give it off to the big fullback. And he's going to pick up nine yards, Tyler Matthews. He was so close on the return. I know, man, so close. It's a feels bad situation, I'll tell you what. All right, let's see. Second down and one. You know who we're going to right here. McRae to the outside. And inside the 30-yard line. 305 yards on the season for him. 19 carries, six touchdowns. Not bad for the freshman. Listen, Jay. I'm pretty sure you're the one that brought up the interceptions um, in the last Cal Poly stream. Okay, so just relax, buddy. Hey, Ray in the chat. What's going on, man? You think Southern Utah knocked some sense into him? It could be, man. Can I get... Can, uh, just block. Just block somebody. Just, just no blocking. That's a feels-bad moment right there, guys. Second down and 17 now. Hit him with the off tackle. I was trying to hit Deshaun Harris on that last play. He was coming across the middle. T. Roy Gaines up to the 22. Let's go. 
He's got 60 yards in the game. That's going to be the final play of the third quarter, guys. Get your fours up in the chat. JU on top, 38-28. Here is the answer of the question of the game. Lowest amount of points scored by Jackson was three points in their 38-3 loss to Cal Poly in week three of season two. That is the answer. So none of you were remotely close. <laughs> All right, let's go. You don't want it. You don't want none of this. You don't want it. Down to the two. Let's go. Hines is in the zone yet again. We all failed. Feels bad. A little bit. I think Marvin guessed 18 points. So he was, he was the closest. Why am I caught on my lineman? Oh! Oh, what just happened? Woo! Oh my goodness! Touchdown! J.U! Oh my goodness gracious! That was a crime, what just happened. There was a serious crime happening on the field. That was nasty. Eh? Girlfriend? Oh, yeah. That defender needs some milk. <laughs> Get him some milk, coach. <laughs> he got left in the dust. Hines doesn't need to throw the football. He just doesn't need to. Look at Nolan Connor out here on kickoff. Let's go, quarterback. QB2. He plays everywhere. He don't care. All right, let's do this. Get him. Okay, Palmer, let's do it. Davis picks up one yard on the play. Zane Williams in the zone. And Parker Palmer with a nice tackle for a loss. Let's go. Let's go. Third down for the Golden Lions. Zane Williams in the zone again. We're blitzing him. Let's do it. Third and 14. Oh, no. Allen with the offsides penalty. That's a feels bad moment. Williams is still in the zone at outside linebacker. Can I please stop standing up with Palmer? What is this? Come on, Malik. I, I'm getting zero animations. Just zero. Like, what is that? Come on! This game does not like Jacksonville. <laughs> it just doesn't. That's the second time in this half that I've gotten just no animation. Malik Bean having a rough go of it tonight. Took a bad angle on a touchdown earlier. And, and now he gets no animation and just lets the guy run right by him. And it's a 10-point ball game. I know it ain't PS4 Madden. I know, and I'm glad it's not. But usually, when, when you hit L1, he doesn't jump up for a freaking catch. It's so irritating. They just don't quit? Nope. Computer getting revenge for the 126 point game. That's a feels bad moment, man. I'm telling you. Parker stepped his game up since I roasted him. Yeah, he's been pretty uh, doing pretty good for Savannah State. Hines over 200 yards rushing. Let's go.
About to put this away? I hope so. Goodness gracious. Get that block. McCray. Let's go. Inside the 30. Still going. Carrying you guys down to the 21 yard line. Huge run for the freshman halfback. Play. I wanted to hand it off to Matthews, but it, you know, just didn't register that I was holding the X button. Like Georgia Tech with the run game? Yes, sir. Not typically an option attack, but it's it has been killing the Golden Lions in this game. to the three. He's four of 13, but he's got 158 yards and two touchdowns. I'll take it. Nobody ever said he was the most accurate quarterback in the world. Pitch. Oh, pitch the ball. Come on. That was a dot, yes sir. All right, Hines still in the zone. Jukes McGee in at halfback. All right, touchdown, Ju. Let's go. Yeah, you guys saw me slow up on him. What's up? Well, we got the 50 burger. Oh, well, Ryan's going to put the game away. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many touchdowns he's got today, but my goodness. They can't stop him when he's running football. Heck, they only stopped him once when he threw it. And that was because of Jermaine Marshall just jumping up, testing out his vertical. Okay, they just, just fell right over. Awesome. Tommy Green in the chat. What's going on, Tommy? How are you, buddy? Welcome to the chat. Offense is hard to stop. They need, they need some work, though. Uh, a little bit. It doesn't help that you got Marcus Pedersen suspended, so that's a big void left at the strong safety spot. That was a weird play. Okay. Get him. Good pass. I don't know how he caught it, but they picked up a couple yards. And a first down, apparently. Awesome. Zane Williams in the zone at outside linebacker. He'll be covering the tight end. And that ref was wide open right there. Jones, offsides. Pick time, that'd be nice, right? Williams still in the zone at outside linebacker. Oh, we almost had him. Eight hurries, one pick, no sacks. Yeah, they're definitely picking some really good formations against this pass rush. Go oh, Barnes. Great game from the freshman linebacker. 29 tackles on the season, and that was his first career pick earlier. 
in the end zone. You'll love to see it. Oh my goodness, what a catch by Douglas. First down for the Golden Lions. Man. Oh my goodness. That would have been a pick six. Hines, play the game for J.U. Jackson, play the game for Arkansas Pine Bluff. And that's a drop for the receiver. We'll call a timeout because our defense is completely gassed. Oh, he's all good, Craniac. He's good, man. I ain't worried about it. I'm all about inclusion, man. Good pass right side, and Brown gets the stop, and it's fourth down and four for the Golden Lions. It's all good, Tommy. It's all good, Craniac. Don't worry, man. Oh, they get the stop. Let's go. Yeah, I don't mind if people, you know, say that they're streaming and stuff. We all got to start somewhere, right? All right, that, that's enough of that. I don't want Heinz to get decapitated here on national TV. Just going to hand it off to T. Roy Gaines one more time. That should do it, possibly. Yeah, these these boys are some hitters, though, for Pine Bluff. I'm not even going to lie, guys. They <laughs> they came to play today. Oh, look at the blocking. Oh, no. Oh, baby, say it ain't so, T-Roy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sit down. <laughs> man, what a hit. <laughs> oh, man. All right, back to defense. <laughs> you need some milk? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. You got got, brother. You got got. Get him. Oh, boy. First down for the Golden Lions. Okay. No. Get him, Malik. There we go. Big hit, Malik. Let's go. 140 yards. Oh, my goodness. Marvin, you're going to have to have a talk with your defense, bub. <laughs> oh, man. 140 yard rusher. Get out of here. Gaines is running laps. So is the defense. <laughs> Feels all too familiar to our game last season. <laughs> nice tackle by Ryan Richardson, sophomore defensive end. And they're going to call their final timeout here. Four seconds left. Gray and Hines can go party with a personal assistant. What about Jermaine Marshall, man? I mean, other than that, that vertical leap that he just did for no reason, he did have two touchdown catches. 
That's it, folks. 52-35 is the final. Pine Bluff, they came to play, folks. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what they can do here in the future because they got some heavy hitters on that defense. I tell you what. I tell you what. My goodness. And their running back. Their running back was phenomenal. I'm actually impressed. I am impressed a little bit. Let's take a look at the stats right quick. We did have 532 yards of offense, 374 on the ground. I'm not going to talk about the passing attack because, well, I mean, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, Bill, take it easy, brother. T-Roy already starting his laps. I like it. Run through the fans, buddy. Do it. Pine Bluff played three top 25 teams in five games. I know. They got a rough schedule, man. Hines, 4 of 13, 158 yards, two touchdowns, one pick, 30%, whatever. Sacked once. He had 209 yards on the ground, though, four touchdowns. Nelson McCray had a touchdown, 82 yards on six carries. T. Roy Gaines, seven carries, 68 yards, and a big fat fumble. But McCray also had one, so, you know, it happens. All right, Jay, take it easy, man. Marshall, two catches, 107 yards, two touchdowns. Mosley had a catch for 18 yards. Christian Hart, one for 33. And a drop. Deshaun Harris had five pancakes. Okay. TJ Brown, freshman free safety, who is available for customization. If you are not in the Discord community yet, there's a link in the description below. Please join us, and you can customize this guy right here. That could be you, leading Jacksonville's defense in tackles in a game. Devin Rambo, six tackles as well. Marcus Barnes, he balled out today. Davidson with five, Palmer with five, Williams three, Allen three, Bean with two, Marvin Joseph Jr. with two tackles, Ryan Richardson one, and one for a loss. All right. Got to work on that run-pass balance. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, the passing attack is a bit rough right now. We'll we'll get there. He played really well. Or Hines, Hines was really good last, was it last week? He had like six touchdown passes. Something like that. Fozzie Sands, one of one field goals, along with 41, 7 of 7 extra points, and 8 kickoffs, 2 touchbacks. Dalton Hayes, 2 punts, 100 yards, very nice, 1 inside the 20, no touchbacks. Tura Gaines balling out on kick return, had a couple of really nice ones. And Jermaine Marshall also had a 36-yarder. Nelson McCray, 16-yard punt return today, and that is it for this game, folks. Hope you enjoyed this one. Lewis Jackson Bullocks, player of players of the game for Arkansas Pine Bluff, Hines, Marshall, and Sands for the Jacksonville Dolphins. Our next game, which will be tomorrow, is going to be Eastern Washington traveling to take on the 15th ranked Northern Colorado Bears in Greeley, Colorado. Nice little Pac-10 matchup. Bears are three and one on the season. Eastern Washington one and three on the year, having a bit of a rough time this season. And the game after that is going to be Cal Poly at Southern Utah. That is the game of the week. Both teams are 4-1. and one. Cal Poly ranked 9th in the country, and Southern Utah ranked 11th in the nation. I'm hoping, uh, if I don't work tomorrow during the day, I'm hoping that we can get through um, the next three games at least, because I think they're all Pac-10 games. The game after Cal Poly should be, uh, is it UC Davis and San Diego? Let me go ahead and check the Discord pick them real quick. Just to double check that. And that is. Okay, so San Diego at 13th ranked UC Davis is the game after Cal Poly. So I'm really hoping to get through all of these Pac-10 games uh, tomorrow during the day. Because I'm not sure if I'm working during the day yet. But, you know, it could happen. Might have a nice little triple header during the day. But that's it for this stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Slap the like button on your way out of the stream. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community to get yourself on the field in this series. And until next time, guys, take it easy.